Greetings programs, welcome to the primetime bonus video reshoot. Um, long story, but yeah, I figured I'd reshoot this video since uh, when I first shot this, I didn't know if it would be the filler day 7 while I waited for Stark Envoy or if this would actually get to be the bonus like it was meant to. So, it was the bonus, yay. And uh, before we get going, I want to actually mention something I forgot in the last video. And that is... I want to plug uh, Grimlock's Forge, actually, because they hooked me up with a custom molded and painted uh, Cyber Planet key for my Cybertron Optimus Prime. Now, this thing is, you know, it's actually molded. It's not uh, 3D printed, so it's, you know, nice and smooth, and it looks great. I absolutely love the heck out of this thing, actually does work just fine so go check them out give them some love you know as you saw on the card it's just facebook forward slash grimlocks forge i'll throw a link in the description but yeah check them out get something cool like this <laughs> but i figured just for a little bit of fun the during the uh process of making this second primetime series, I ended up acquiring one more Optimus Prime figure. So I figured, why not, I'm just going to review him really quick and be able to say that I've reviewed every Optimus Prime that I own. And this one's a little bit special, which is why I'm still rambling on about it instead of just showing it to you. But today's figure is Cybertron Legends Class. Optimus Prime. For anyone who doesn't know why this is special, Cybertron Legends was the first time we actually got Legends class figures. This was the first time they did it. And I would argue that in some ways, these are better than any other Legends class figure that we've gotten since. Because this guy is a fantastic just smaller version of the uh, of the full size guy. So as you can see, this one is actually uh, looks like his normal paint deco with the actual blue and yellow and red and everything. There is a version of this that also is the black and red, just like the leader class that I looked at. Um, these wheels don't have the uh, springy <laughs> bits in them like you'd expect. Because, uh, yeah, these are the wheels that were springy on uh, the big guy. As well as, these wheels are just painted on. That's why they're a little bit higher up. They they don't do anything. So, ever since they literally started doing Legends class, we've been getting fake wheels. Awesome. But, going to go ahead and transform this guy. Very, very similar to the full size, actually. And... Uh, also, <laughs> refusing to focus. But yeah, just fold these up, split the legs, fold them down, crotch plate down. The only thing that's a little bit annoying to transform on this guy is getting the arms out of the front. They didn't quite give you like comfortable clearance for this. So you kind of have to rotate the arm out as you're you're, you kind of have to try to do two things at once here. Because you're having to twist the arm into position while you rotate the shoulder out. Um, it, It's not like it's, you know, uh, you're going to risk breaking it or something. It's just a little awkward to do. But once you do that, come in here, pull up his head. You've got this tiny... Really, really well done, Optimus Prime. And for some reason, my camera is not wanting to focus on it completely. Give me a second. Okay, that's that's a little better at least. Um, but yeah, he's got great, great molded detail for this size. Um, posability is incredibly limited on him. He really just has his elbows that already sit forward at a bit of an angle. 
And then he's got ball joints in his hips, so he can kick forward and ever so slightly back. And he can A pose. So, posability is, you know, I'm <laughs> barely there on this guy. But it's so cool to actually have, like, you know, this was the first time they did it. This was the first time they took a full-size figure and made a tiny version. And it's still really good. It looks really cool. Also, I just have to say, there's these three screw holes back here. I genuinely wish I had a way to 3D model or something. Because I would love to see if I could, like, make a backpack for this guy. So he could have the wings and maybe get the head the little sides to his helmet or something. That would be cool. But either way, still really cool, really tiny figure. And just for fun, because a uh, very short video just looking at him, we're also going to check out the Megatron that goes with him. And this thing is equally just as awesome. As you can see, they even took the time to mold in his the slot for his cyber planet key. Though funny enough, the missile launcher is nowhere to be seen now. Um, absolutely awesome little figure. Now, the back wheels are fake. I'm sure if they had tried, they could have made these actually turn. But this thing's also really small. It's only a little bit bigger than a Hot Wheels car. So... You know, no jet mode in it, unfortunately, but still, really cool, really small. Um, equally simple transformation, but there's going to be a lot of stuff to point out while we go through his transformation. So, I'm going to start, just fold down his feet, unpeg, these, un uh, unpeg the legs from the side of the car, fold it down, this should be sounding very familiar because this is very, very close to how the big one works. Come up here. You're going to unpeg these pieces from the front and just rotate them back. You don't get quite the uh, range of, you know, posability on these things that you did on the big one, but it's cool that they still at least go back. And you're going to split the arms. And one of the things I want to point out, they don't do anything, but they've molded in like peg holes that were actually part of the full size figure. Just to make this one look more accurate. That's that's kind of insane, and I love it. I'll just go ahead, flip the chest around, get the arm in place and rotate out his hand. And there you've got Cybertron Legends Megatron. And yeah, I, I love that you get a little more color in this mode, he's so because he's he is very much just a gray lump in the uh, in his car mode. Here you get enough color. It looks great. Again, it's tiny. Here it is with, you know, Optimus Prime, so you can see he's a little bigger than Prime. But these figures are both really great, really tiny. Um, see if I can get a close-up of his head here. The camera does not want to look at anything tiny today, apparently. But, yeah, really, really great little tiny version of Megatron. Um, hips are on a ball joint, so he can, you know, kick forward. Can't really kick back. He can kick out, ball joint at the knee so you get rotation and an actual knee joint. Ball joint at his shoulders, mostly gets you uh, in and out and rotation. Not really a whole lot he can do in terms of forward and back. And you can actually have him look up and down. So, again, super short videos, uh, super short video. I just figured it'd be fun, really quick, take a look at something really really tiny since first prime time I ended up having like a little three pack uh, I did like three or four legends figures in one video didn't have that this time but we've got probably one of the most important legends figures 
that being the first, as well as the Megatron to go with it. The Megatron may have come out first, I don't know. Either way, they're great, they're tiny, and they're a little bit special. So, thank you guys for watching. Again, go check out Grimlock's Forge, and I'll see you next time.